If Daddy can won't tell Tony the truth, then Uncle Eric will. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Wrestling. The Tony Khan meltdown has continued. He's still tweeting, crying about WWE, crying about NXT, crying about Triple H and Shawn Michaels both being bald, crying about Vince McMahon being able to have pull and bring in top stars, crying about Undertaker and Cena not making a million viewers even though that has absolutely nothing to do with his show, crying about WWE fans on Twitter because they didn't show sympathy towards his mother when she was in hospital. The guy has just been non-stop crying and now he's got another reason to cry because Eric Bischoff has come out and said that the guy sucks. The guy is beyond help and that he is not the man to lead AEW forward. So Eric Bischoff on his Strictly Business podcast, which to be honest I haven't really listened to. I've listened to 83 weeks. I've not listened to Strictly Business. I believe it's different. I think he does one week he does 83 weeks and the next week he does Strictly Business. I need to check out because I do enjoy listening to Eric Bischoff and for me he was the greatest general manager I think we've ever seen in WWE, especially longevity as well. I mean he was in the role for about three years I'd say, give yep. or take. So. Easily about three years there up to 2005. Then you get took away in a garbage truck. I think when you when you compare quality and longevity, I think that th those two combined, Eric Bischoff is probably the best GM in WWE history. And I would also say wrestling history. But anyway, this is what Eric Bischoff was saying regarding Tony Khan and how the AEW president could make the AEW programming better. He says that he needs help structuring the company, structuring the program, and basically just needs to give up the reins to somebody else. That's what Eric Bischoff Easy E had to say. Quote, I think Tony's beyond help. I don't think Tony Khan is the type of person that wants help. I think Tony Khan, more than anything else, wants to be Paul Heyman or wants to be Vince McMahon. Yeah, this is a fanity project. He loves wrestling. Okay, I get it. He loves wrestling. He loves it. He loves it with every fibre of his being. That doesn't mean he's good at it. And unless Tony recognises that he's not good at it, you could bring in anybody you want it to and it won't work because he won't listen. Not to the extent that he needs to. I wouldn't wish that position on anybody that I know. Absolutely not. End of quote. So, Bischoff here basically saying that right now, AEW is screwed with Tony Khan. He doesn't know what he's doing and it doesn't matter who is in the company or who Tony Khan brings in because at the end of the day, he will still want the final say. He will still want to have his input on the show and his input absolutely sucks. It really is that simple. I totally agree with Eric Bischoff. You know, this is the same guy that would have had to go with Vince McMahon for doing the exact same thing. You've got guys like the Young Bucks, Kenny Omegas, EVPs, even though, I mean, what are they actually doing, let's be real, when you've got the likes of Tony Schiavone and JR and they're not even using them. Oh, but let's use Orange Cassidy as an agent. No wonder this company's failing. Yeah, you think and the then all the final decisions go through this prick. You think of the people that AEW have, like they've got legends like Jake the Snake Roberts and uh, who else do they have? <laughs> uh, they've got everybody. I mean, you've got Billy Gunn, you've Jericho, you've Sting, you've all these people, man. Yeah, that um, Blanchard guy, Christian. Lately, they've got I uh, Blanchard, Matt Hardy, uh, the, uh, Matt Hardy, you know, recently acquired Edge. They've got a lot of people that have been in the business for a lot of years, and Jim Ross. Yep. Um, has you know a lot of people that know a lot of shit in wrestling yet Tony Khan doesn't have them in these prominent roles he's got them just as wrestlers or as announcers he's not got them helping him with running the show and the people that he does 
give high positions to are the EVPs and Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks. Are you fucking serious? Until AEW came along, the Young Bucks were bingo hall wrestlers. And I'm not talking ECW bingo halls. I'm talking fucking legit bingo halls that didn't have TV deals, weren't shown on pay-per-views. I mean, the Young Bucks were garbage. And until they found AEW, they were nobody. So now we're supposed to believe that they are people capable of running wrestling companies. So, I mean, not only does Tony Khan want to do it all by himself, but the people that he does have closest to him absolutely fucking suck. Yeah, and they absolutely do. And that's the problem when you've got unlimited money. There's, there, there's like, no fuck-ups financially. Yeah, th this guy can fail. This guy can get low ratings. This guy can lose money. And he's not going to be replaced. He's not got bosses, he's not got partners, he's got nobody that he needs to answer to, he's got nobody that is his equal or even close to him. So the guy can continue to fail, no one's going to come and snatch control away from him. I mean, the only way this guy can fail is if daddy can just denies him any more money and basically stops the can trust fund. And if that happens, then maybe AEW will go into business. But, I mean, Sadiq Khan has got so much money that he can just give his son this unlimited pool and his son can absolutely blow it. And, you know, just having the most amount of money isn't necessarily going to win you wrestling wars. Look at WCW. They had a lot more money than Vince. And in the end... It went tits up. It did go tits up, man. You know what? I think with AEW, if it was a money-sensitive issue, would they have even got into the 2020s? I think they would have struggled. I genuinely think that. Because it's just money being splashed. WWE, Fox, they pay WWE to be on the network. I mean, how much money is going towards like TNT and TBS just to get on it? If Tony, bribes. If, if Tony Khan had Paul Heyman's bank account, AEW would have died three years ago. Yeah. That is a fact. Co no, COVID would have killed it. That is an absolute fact. Anybody, see if, you, see if you're a billionaire, anybody could start a wrestling company and, and pay. And I'm convinced that every, a lot of people have said it. A lot of people believe that the cans are actually paying to be on the network. And then most times the network pays you to have your show on it. But a lot of people believe that AEW, Tony Khan are actually paying TNT to be broadcasted on the network and I think that makes sense especially with Rampage and you look at the numbers it's it just I don't know for me it doesn't make sense that they would be getting that such good deals with a low amount of viewership no they're, they're, they're billionaires it makes total sense for them to pay to get on it prime time as well because I, I, why would those companies want this on it with the, the, the low viewership come on and I think they are getting paid Absolutely. Uh, how can this company be saved? Uh, like Eric Bischoff says, I don't think it really matters who Tony Khan brings in tomorrow because he will still want to be the one with the final say. He will still want to be the one that books everything and writes everything and just controls everything. So, I, I, I mean, probably unless his dad steps in and says, look, you're costing me a fucking fortune. I'm going to get people in that can actually do this, people that have got experience, people that I can trust, people that I have faith and turning this company around and make it not profitable. I mean, until that happens, then I, I think AEW is destined to fail. So does Eric Bischoff, and so does a lot of people, to be fair. And they might have been beaten. I just don't get this. I mean, for a long time, they were beating the, the development brand, and all they did was brag. I mean, TNA, they never bragged about beating ECW. Never. No, they never did. And I think this question is... TNA actually decided to move to Mondays to take the WWE on. Could you imagine if Dynamite moved to Mondays and Dynamite had to go up against both Monday Night Football and WWE? Can you imagine the ratings Dynamite would be pulling in? 50,000. But Ted Turner pulled the plug and that's what killed WCW. That could have that could still be going today if he didn't pull the plug. But he did. And I think it's just a matter of time for the, the plug gets pulled here. And WCW was way better than AEW. So I agree with Eric Bischoff. I'm going to pull the plug. You know what? See if Tony Khan was smart. He, he would have got, he'd have got Eric Bischoff in. He could bring Eric in. Eric's got experience. Yeah, but <laughs> we don't want Hulk Hogan and Eric Bischoff. They're cancers. Not, not Eric, not Hogan. It's me. It's Tony. I mean... <laughs> Tony the Tiger. Fuck off, Tony. <laughs> Aye, Tony's shite. Anyway, guys, that's we, it. Have a wee time out, mate, because uh, your Twitter sessions are getting your wee brain frazzled there, big I mean, man. the guy's acting like an absolute man. His dad needs to take Twitter away. He needs a time out. 
Tony can, Tony the time out can, needs to be put in the naughty corner and have his phone taken away from him and probably get Twitter, the app, deactivated too. Anyway guys, that's it. Been Fog Wrestling. Leave a like, leave a comment. Catch you in the next one. And until then, peace.